There will be obstacles. There will be doubters. There will be mistakes. But with hard work, there are no limits. If you want to be the best you have to do things that other people aren't willing to do. The more you dream the more you achieve. I want to be able to look back and say, I've done everything I can, and I was successful. I don't want to look back and say I should have done this or that. I'd like to change things for the younger generation of swimmers coming along. Perseverance, determination, commitment, and courage those things are real. The desire for redemption drives you. Things won't go perfect. It's all about how you adapt from those things and learn from mistakes. If you put your mind to anything that you dream, you can achieve it. You can't put a limit on anything. The more you dream, the farther you get. The one thing that's common to all successful people, they make a habit of doing things that unsuccessful people don't like to do. I think goals should never be easy, they should force you to work, even if they are uncomfortable at the time. Every day is different and every day brings something more exciting. I have had extreme ups and downs. The biggest thing I learned after I broke my wrist is to never give up. Nothing in life will ever come easy. It depends on how you deal with those obstacles and how you overcome those obstacles. If you can overcome them, you're a stronger person. If you make mistakes along the way, as long as you never make that same mistake again, you're a successful person. Dream as big as you can dream, and anything is possible. Our time on earth is already short enough. For me. It's like every single day I try to be as happy as I can. It's crazy to think about. We never have enough time. That's always the thing. We always want to do more. So it's about being able to spend time on the things that are most important to you. Life is a lot easier that way, and obviously, life is pretty difficult a lot of the time. I think that everything is possible as long as you put your mind to it and you put the work and time into it. I think your mind really controls everything. Anything is possible as long as you want it, you work for it. Doesn't matter what anyone else thinks, the only person that can really put pressure on you is yourself. So many people along the way, whatever it is you aspire to do will tell you it can't be done. But it all it takes is imagination. You dream. You plan. You reach. There will be obstacles. There will doubters. There will be mistakes. But with hard work, with belief, with confidence and trust in yourself and those around you, there are no limits. Things can change in the blink of an eye. Records are always made to be broken no matter what they are. Anybody can do anything that they set their mind to. Nobody is going to put a limit on what I'm doing. I think with practice, you can be whatever you want to be, and with a goal you can go in any direction that you want to go in. I can't remember the last day I didn't train. I knew I was not a failure in any way, and so did those close to me. It doesn't matter if you fall short, it is never a failure to go after your goals with everything you've got. At a very young age, I wrote down the goals that I had so I could always see what I wanted to accomplish. And I would look at that goal sheet and think I still want to do this. So I decide I'm not quitting. Nothing is impossible. With so many people saying it couldn't be done, all it takes is an imagination. For recovery, I think it's a big deal to eat within a half hour after you exercise. Otherwise, I just try to put carbs into my system before I swim and then load up on the protein after. I don't count calories. Whether it's Sour Patch Kids or Reese's or a bag of chips, 
If I feel like eating it, I'm going to eat it. If you say can't you're restricting what you can do or ever will do. I want to test my maximum and see how much I can do. And I want to change the world of swimming. It's the Olympics. If you can't get up to swim early in the morning, don't go. When you use your imagination anything can happen. Eat, sleep and swim, that's all I can do. People say to me, you were so lucky. You get to see the world. But I don't. I go to the hotel and to the pools and back again. That's it. If I didn't swim my best, I'd think about it at school, at dinner, with my friends. It would drive me crazy. Being able to do something that's never been done before, that's what I've always wanted to do. There was nothing that was going to stand in my way of being the first. Other nights, I visualize to the point that I know exactly what I want to do, dive, glide, stroke, flip, reach the wall, hit the split time to the hundredth, then swim back again for as many times as I need to finish the race. Being compared to Ian Thorpe, that could be one of the greatest compliments you could ever get in swimming, being compared to him and Mark Spitz. Obviously for water safety, you want to learn just to be comfortable in the water, that's the main goal. I think the second that you start freaking out and feeling uncomfortable, it's not going to go well. I would visualize the best and worst case scenarios. Whether I get disqualified or my goggles fill up with water or I lose my goggles or I come in last, I'm ready for anything. The problem with heart disease is the first symptom is often fatal. I have reached a place in my life where I need to sit down and say, well, what do I do? What's best for me? I need to look into options for the future. I think sometimes I guess you see records say you want to get there and use that as motivation. In a way, it's kind of cool if there is a possibility to rewrite history and be up there with the greats of Olympic history. One thing with me, and every goal I've had, in the sport of swimming, my mother didn't know my goals. The only person that knew my goals were my coaches. It's not how you start, but it's how you finish. I've always been fortunate in that I've been able to put myself in my own zone and relax. It comes naturally. I'm lucky to be that way. When I'm focused, there is not one single thing, person, anything that can stand in the way of my doing something. There is not. If I want something bad enough, I feel I'm gonna get there. Swimming is more than a once every four years sport. My goal is to bring attention to swimming, to give it some personality. I think to be, for me to be an American is, you know, it's one of the greatest things in the world for, you know, for me just because I've been able to grow up with everything. The freedom. You know, in my eyes this is the greatest country in the world. I'm pretty lazy. My wife always says, you're the laziest most successful Olympian I've ever seen. How does that make sense? Honestly, if I have downtime, I'm really, really good at not doing anything. It doesn't matter what else is going on. When you walk into your arena or your, whatever you excel at, you're there to take care of the job that you have to do. This is my 20th year in the sport. I've known swimming and that's it. I don't want to swim past age 30, if I continue after this Olympics, and come back in 2016, I'll be 31. I'm looking forward to being able to see the other side of the fence.